this is Scott Moore of Scott Moore Consulting. You can find me on the internet at scottmore.consulting in your browser. My handle on Twitter is loadtester and this YouTube channel. Please subscribe to it so you can see all the new videos that I post as well as register for upcoming giveaways. In this video, I'm going to walk you through installation of HP LoadRunner 12.53 Community Edition. So the first thing you'll need to do is find out where it's located on the web for downloading. And here's the URL. This is Hewlett Packard Enterprises software website for downloading the Community Edition and the additional components as well as standalone applications and language packs. So there are multiple downloads here. And when you get to this page and you click on the Community Edition link, it will require you to register with HP Enterprise. If you haven't already done so, click the sign up link and fill out the information. The registration is free, as is the download, so you're not paying anything for it, uh, but you, it will require a login and a password. When you do this, you will download uh, multiple files if you need them. Uh, we're gonna focus on the community edition, but you would also uh, typically for US you would install the additional components and the standalone application so each one of these represents a large zip file which you'll need to extract through a program like 7-zip or other extractor program you'll have three large files even after you download the zip files okay so the first thing that we're going to do is install the community edition by launching the exe but we're going to do so as administrator if you do not and you do not have local admin privileges you may receive errors during the installation based on lack of permissions so here we've started off with the community edition install routine and we have to click the install button it's going to look for uh, existing components to be installed and some dependencies for things like uh, the Microsoft products that it, it relies on. If you've already installed those in the past and you've just uninstalled a previous version of LoadRunner, say 12.5, those still may be installed. So it may skip over those if it's the exact same version it's looking at. This is a totally fresh install. It may take a little longer to install because it needs those additional components. The execution of this file is not the actual install of 12.53. This is additional extraction. So when you downloaded the initial zip file and extracted that, you were left with this exe. You're now extracting the exe in preparation for installation. What's happening here is it is unextracting un or extracting I should say into the C temp directory and it's basically taking the DVD image that was created at HP and it's creating the file structures and all of the files as if you were being shipped the DVD and we're installing from that. So right now we're extracting all of these files once this is done then we can begin the actual installation. Notice that LoadRunner is connecting to the internet to get to the HP Live network. So if you're disconnected, this may not work. After component registration, notice that we do have our new shortcuts for LoadRunner. During installation, you may notice that you have a Windows security alert. This is LoadRunner uh, installing the agent and the agent is running as a process it needs to communicate uh, with itself but it, if you were installing the agent on another machine uh, there needs to be a network port opened up 
and you can select either private, public, I'm going to just let it stay the default of private, but I am going to allow access. So that is opening up a port on your firewall for the agent process that's going to be running on your machine. On this screen, LoadRunner is wanting to uh, create a certificate for you. This is if you're going to be using secure communication between your controller and your generators. In this case, I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to uncheck that. So this is optional. That po at this point, you're almost done. The LoadRunner installations now include the HP network virtualization software uh, that's also optional. If you want, you can install it. If not, you can simply uncheck this and your installation will be over. Typically, um, if I'm just doing a simple demo and I'm not going to demonstrate the NV technology, I'll uncheck this and I'll continue to go. Also, uh, as soon as LoadRunner is installed, do you want it to open the README file? It's probably a good idea to go ahead and do that so that you can see what's new with the product that you're installing. And also the license utility. If you've purchased an additional license with LoadRunner and you need to put in a key that's been sent to you by HP, go ahead and have that launched so that you can put that in. I'm going to go ahead and do that just for demo purposes. We're going to click Finish. We're going to let the network virtualization setup run, which should only take just a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, let's take a quick look at the LoadRunner 12.53 README as it's popped up and you can see that 12.53 is going to include all the, the changes since uh, version 12 and it's going to talk about what's been new and then what is new just with the 5.3 version of the software and in this particular version there's actually more changes than you would think between 12.5 and 12.53 it doesn't sound like there would be a lot of changes because uh, of the number of where the number is located but in this case this would almost be like version 13 because there's so many different enhancements that have been made to the product product um, and we'll go through that in a different video but it's a good idea to review this so that you understand some of the uh, new changes that have been made and also, there's usually a section that talks about um, workarounds for things that they already know may have problems. You'll also see the system requirements and things like that in there. Now let's look at the LoadRunner license utility. You will notice that the Community Edition offers 50 virtual users that are permanent for most of the protocols. There are a few exceptions that it does not include unlimited mobile UI users, and two network virtualization uh, communication licenses, which uh, is, this is pretty awesome to have this type of freemium available for an enterprise tool like LoadRunner so that you can use this on small smoke tests uh, to learn and train on LoadRunner and get your skills uh, up to par. So you can use the controller for up to 50 virtual users you can use the VGen scripting tool to create scripts, and you can also use the analysis tool. So to have that kind of power, even at such a low level, is going to be very good for you if you're just learning LoadRunner for the first time. So we're still installing our network virtualization setup, so we'll let that finish. And it looks like it is now complete. So we'll either need to restart now or restart later. So at this point, what I would typically do is restart the machine and start it back up and start using LoadRunner. So the installation, I believe, over the last couple of versions between 11.5, 12 to 12.5, I think the installation has actually gotten a lot easier. There's fewer prompts. There's few next buttons that you have to go through. So I think HP have streamlined this somewhat. So I wanted you to be able to see this installation and see it's not really very daunting at all. Anyone can, can pretty much do it. The main thing is launching the EXE with 
the correct permissions uh, with administrator permissions and make sure you have local admin privileges on the machine. So thanks for watching the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoy these videos and I welcome your feedback. Thanks guys.